Lord, we are pleading and praying, O oh God, by your mercy and by your greatness, O oh God. Open heaven unto us, O oh God. That every one of us we shall operate under and open heaven tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. By the special grace of God, just as we put on, the, on our platform, on our prayer platform, actually we are looking at that topic, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. It's, uh, it's a familiar topic to all of us, and it's a familiar chapter that is taken from Psalm 91. And when you look at it very closely, you begin to ask yourself, who are the people that are qualified to dwell in that secret place of the Most High? It takes people who have encounter with the Savior. It takes people that their lives have received, you know, the touch of heaven. It takes people that have given up sin out of their lives. They are no longer living in sin. They are no longer living in sin. And they live to please God. In other words, they are living a righteous and a holy life. Those are the people that can dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And that is what we are actually considering tonight. But then, before we go deep into that, we are going to spend some minutes to appreciate God. Let's turn our Bible to Psalm 150. If you have your Bible there, please just join me. Turn your Bible to Psalm 150. Because we cannot do without praising God. We cannot do without appreciating what the Lord has done for us. Look at Psalm 150. In Psalm 150, I'm going to read from verses 1 and 2 and verse 6. Psalm 150, the last chapter in the book of Psalm. He said, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Verse 2. Praise him for his mighty acts. I want you to cast your mind back and think very deeply. Has God done something special or significant in your life? Of course, yes. yes. The life that we have now, it is a gift from God. In fact, for us to be alive at this time, it is the mercy of God. For people that are been trying to, ah, I'm going to see next year. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Many have gone. Many are in much worry. As I'm talking to you now, maybe some part of the world now, 